I go anywhere, anywhere with you. What are you eating? What are you eating? Cheerios? A little bit. Yeah, is Otis eating his food? Otis is eating his food, ain't he? So we just got back from Walmart. We got some groceries. Spent about $81. Um, and you guys will notice in this haul that I bought a lot of, a lot more off-brand stuff than the last time that I bought groceries. And I feel like I got a lot of stuff this time around for $80. And a lot of the off-brand stuff, you can't even really tell, I feel like. Um, like it tastes just as good as name brand. There is a couple things that I prefer name brand. But um, if you want to save money, definitely buy the off-brand. So we got some Velveeta cheese and shells for coal. It fell out of the packaging, that's why it's all separate, but we got some sweet onions, some bananas, um, my husband picked out this cereal. Um, we got some vanilla yogurt, I've been having granola, I ate this morning with my last yogurt that I had, but um, so I just bought this big tub because it was only like a dollar fifty, I think for this yogurt, and there's a 32 ounces in there, so that's a good amount. So I just got the vanilla kind. It's really good with my granola. Then we got some light cream cheese for the bagels that I bought. Um, these are for Cole cheese puffs. These are really good too. Um, I tried something. This was like on sale, so I went ahead and picked these up. But they are the beef smoked sausage. Um, I thought those would be really good to have. And then we got some beef hot dogs. <laughs> We got some Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. Shredded cheese is always good to have on hand to put on eggs if we have for breakfast or anything really. We always need shredded cheese. Um, these pizzas are really good. We tried one last time for the first time. It's by Sam's Choice. They're about five bucks a piece. Unless you want the stuffed crust, they're like a dollar more, I think. But, and they're also good because I think the last one that I bought was like um, a stuffed crust and it was good. But never tried this one. This is a Philly steak and cheese. And then we just have a seven cheese pizza. Um, these are for Cole. He loves having these for a snack. So we got some string cheese. Um, we got some Pop-Tarts. Um, I think the great value Pop-Tarts taste good. So they're way cheaper than the name brand. Um, so we just got the cinnamon and brown sugar. These I'm kind of addicted to right now, but if you guys can see how small this bag is, um, these are so expensive. And I went to the dollar store a while ago to pick up milk because I forgot to buy that at Walmart. And I saw these in the dollar store two for five, so I'm really <laughs> pissed that I didn't go to the dollar store for these. But I'm going to remember that now to check the dollar store first because you can get a better deal with the uh, Cheetos versus Walmart. I feel like never has their free to lay stuff on sale at Walmart or soda. So... We got some cheese at duos jalapeno and cheddar jack um, these are good just to snack on um, i've been drinking the starbucks creamer if you guys know for my iced coffee but honestly it's really expensive <laughs> so i decided to give the great value coffee creamer a try i will let you guys know if i like it but i got the vanilla caramel i'm sure it will be just fine um, I honestly want to get off coffee creamer because it's not good for you, but I do like it with my, mixed with my iced coffee. <laughs> so we got some great value macaroni and cheese. These are only like 34 cents a box. It's like so cheap. Um, we got some grapes. I think these are just red. Yeah, red seedless grapes. There was a good sale on these and they look pretty good. We got some great value sausage never tried this kind before so i hope this is good but i thought maybe i could make sausage gravy or something one night um we got some bread frosted mini wheat cereal i've been eating the crap out of this i love when they come out with the um pumpkin spice mini wheats that'll be soon um we got this yogurt here for my husband and cole will eat these sometimes too but it's just strawberry and strawberry banana picked up some of these because they're only a dollar but these are pretty good so we got some roasted garlic instant mashed potatoes um these are for coal needed some pine salt to clean my floor with last week i had to use dawn soap and hot water to clean my floor which actually worked really well but um i just miss having the pine salt because it gives a really nice smell got some strawberries some waffles 
and my husband picked out Diet Mountain Dew and some blueberry bagels and this I bought at the dollar store some milk because I forgot to get it at Walmart so that is pretty much it for the grocery haul this week um, small haul nothing major just some snacks and stuff we was out of but yeah I recently had discovered um, fetch rewards and I wanted to tell you guys about it um, they're not sponsoring my video or anything but I just think it's really cool um, I watched Kristen like I talk about her all the time Casper she had um, some information on her last video that she did about it so I went ahead and signed up and used her code and got like 2,000 points automatically but basically it's an app where every time that you buy groceries and you purchase like certain items you can get points for and then you you can earn rewards which is really cool I looked on there you guys will have to download it it's free and all you have to do is just scan your grocery receipts and you, when you get like a total of I think 5,000 points, which I'm already up to like 3,000 points, you can get like a $5 gift card to like almost anything that you want, like makeup, restaurants, clothes. It's really cool. So you guys should check it out. Um, and then the more points you save, like you can get a higher amount of gift cards, but it'll probably take a while because I saw that they have $50 gift cards, but you have to have like 50,000 points unless you're like buying up a lot of stuff all the time then it might go fast so um i actually scanned my receipt for the dollar store a while ago and i just bought some milk and some airhead bites and i automatically got like an additional 500 points for just those two things so it was kind of mind-blowing but anyways you guys should check that out if you have not i'll try to put a link down below and see if i have a code to offer since i signed up and i think if you guys I'll have to look at it. I don't know, but I'll put a link. I'll try to remember to do that for you guys. Hey guys, welcome back. So today is Thursday, and I think the last you guys saw me was yesterday. I don't remember now, but anyways, um, I filmed a cleaning video yesterday for you guys. I got my car cleaned out. So today I've been working on my house. I moved the office around. I'll show you guys that in a minute, but. I just got done scrubbing the bathrooms because um, the floors really needed scrubbed. Um, I don't always do my bathroom floor every single week just because I'm lazy. <laughs> and we don't really wear our shoes in the bathroom, I feel like, a whole bunch, so it don't really get dirty. But I'm going to show you guys the office. Nicole's taking a nap right now, so I'm trying to be quiet. But yeah, we moved the bed. So when you walk in now, you got all this space now. And then we put the wash stand over here because there really wasn't nowhere else to put it. And then the computer is over here by the closet. So, yeah. Um, my husband, I think, will like this a lot. I love it a lot better because you got way more room now when you walk in. I feel like compared to the way that it was before. So I'm really happy with this. Um, moving this around. I feel like it's way more roomier now. So I like it a lot. Okay, so we're gonna make some peach cobbler. I've never made it before. This is my first time, so um, I thought I would share the recipe with you guys. I'm gonna get it off Pinterest here, but I have a ton of fresh peaches um, because peaches are in right now, so I think they're about out though. I'm not really sure, but anyways, I got some peaches here that I'm going to slice into slices, and my mom let me borrow this little baking dish she also had to lend me some nutmeg because i didn't have any of that and some baking powder and you're going to need some flour and you're going to need some sugar now if this recipe is good i will put the link down below for you guys so if you guys want the exact measurements and everything then you will have everything that you need to make this but i'm going to go ahead and get started on these peaches okay so it says to layer a single layer of peaches so i did that and then you sprinkle with two tablespoons of sugar. Did that. Now it says we need to mix some stuff together here in a bowl. All right, so we're gonna do one cup of sugar. That's pretty good. All right, guys, you're gonna wanna use room temperature butter. I had to put mine in a microwave because mine was not room temperature, but you want soft butter. Alright, so now we're going to mix 
the sugar and the butter till it's combined. Okay, so we're gonna add our salt, baking powder, I just added one fourth of nutmeg. I'm gonna go ahead and add the flour, which is kind of weird, but then you add an egg, and we're gonna do some some vanilla. As you feel my mind, or you feel my mind, we could build a dream, start up something new, let the old be dead. The shadows leave my head and when the world is on your shoulders And you feel like falling over Just come a little closer I'll be there for you, I'll be there for you Cause when we are together I know you feel the tension Just let me in your head So I can be there for you, there for you The night is young Won't you sing for me Won't you sing for me Till we fall asleep the night is young, won't you say? So we got about 10 minutes left until it's done, but it actually spread um, pretty good. Once you get it in the oven, it spreads out on its own, which is good. I was really worried because if you guys didn't notice, I was struggling a little bit to get it to spread. It is kind of hard. It even says that in the instructions that you just spread it the best you can. And once you put it in the oven, it just kind of melts out itself. Um, it definitely, I was like, starting to freak out because it was not sticking to the peaches and I couldn't spread it. Um, so I was like, oh my god, what did I do wrong? But I didn't do anything wrong, it was supposed to be like that. So we will see, I'm excited to try it. Uh, my mom had to do her laundry at my house today because her wash machine broke. So I just folded her two loads of laundry here that she had some whites and she had some colored clothes and I folded that stuff and I got to get that back down to her but she also wants some of this peach cobbler she let me borrow her little baking dish so um plus I had to get some spices off of her and um I'm gonna give them a little bit of it too my husband's gonna be surprised because when he asked if I would make this um back when my grandma gave me the peaches which was about like a couple days ago but um I said I would so he doesn't know that I'm making it, so hopefully he's surprised when he comes home that I'm making it. And Cole Allen just got up from his nap. He took a nap today, and I, I'm glad because I have not sat down not once today. I've been busy doing stuff all day. So I think we're going to do breakfast for dinner tonight. I have these, um, you guys saw yesterday. That's right, I vlogged the grocery haul yesterday, but I got these. So I think we're going to make these to go with our breakfast dinner just because to me these sounded good. I don't think these are the um, breakfast sausages. That's what I meant to get and I ended up getting these. But that's okay because I like eating these with breakfast food. I think they taste good. I like the ones that have cheese in them. So anyways, I'm going to make these um, to go with our breakfast. And I think what we're going to do since I'm just kind of wore out from like all the crap that I've done today. Which, um... I think I'm going to decorate for fall because I really have the itch. So I think tomorrow I'm going to bring all my fall stuff up and put it out. And I kind of want to put it out anyways because I wanted to get some new fall stuff maybe this year if I can. And just kind of look and see what I have. And if there's anything that I don't really want, I might just put in a yard sale. Because I really want to focus on getting some decor items that I really like. As opposed to some of the stuff I just just kind of gotten from like the Dollar Tree which is fine there's nothing wrong with buying your stuff at the Dollar Tree but like I just would like to have a couple of things that are really nice and that will last a long time so I was going to try to find some decor that I might want to keep for like a long period of time that'll just last so oh my god peach cobbler is delicious highly recommend I'll put the link down below for you guys but I put it back in the oven because I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be this runny after the crumble stuff came off because I put a good bit of crust in with my husband's there because I already set him a bowl because I know he's going to want some but I'll just show you guys really quick so it says to let it get really brown 
so it is brown but like right after i took some of the top crust off it was like all this gooey stuff just started coming underneath of it so i'm not sure if that needs to be baked just a smidge longer so i'm gonna just put it in there for a little bit longer let it get a little bit more brown just to see what happens because i feel like it could be a little bit more brown than what i had it but overall i don't mind eating it like this good morning I mean, it's delicious. today is friday <laughs> had to think about what day it was but guess what i did yesterday um evening i put out my fall stuff and yeah this is what's going on um so all my fall stuff is out everything feels so cozy when i woke up this morning I love just seeing all the pretty fall stuff and um, I'm really glad that I decided to go ahead and put it out because now I can kind of see if there's any things that I that I want to add and I realize that I do want to get some towels for the bathroom some like hand towels that are Halloween um, or just fall whatever and I want to get like some more flowers I think maybe for my bathroom to put because I got flowers in the the guest bathroom or Cole's bathroom, I should say, but I want to get a shower curtain maybe if I can afford one of those because I know they can be kind of expensive, but I kind of wanted to do mainly focus on doing Cole's bathroom this year. Maybe I can do mine next year or something just to save a little money, but um, overall, I'm really happy with how my house turned out um, with the stuff that I have. I don't really know if I'll need a whole lot because I've pretty much filled up all my spaces um i'll just give you guys a quick shot my battery is going to die but we did the garland up there like we did last year um i bought out my blanket that my husband's son brought to us at a church actually made but it's definitely fall inspired so all the pretty it looks it reminds me of candy corn collars because that is like the fall kind of stuff that i like i like the orange and the yellows and the bright fun colors because like I said most of the time my house is neutral so right I just do like the fun fall colors because I think they're fun I know now like the new thing is a lot of neutrals which I mean it's fine but I just love the pops of color it just reminds me of fall so I got my flowers up there this is what the fireplace is looking like with some um, leaf garland a little pumpkin up here then we got like a random pumpkin over there some wall pictures that I've had um like everything i've had obviously but just some little fun stuff that i put out yesterday and um i just i love it like i walked out and i'm like oh my god it's so cozy in here oh and this look look at this thing my mom gave me that so my husband rigged it up last night and hung him up there on the uh the corner there just a creepy little spider i should get some spider webs and maybe like put up there which was like a thought my mom used to do that when i was a kid she would do the whole spider web look and put some spiders in it. It looked really cool. But, um, yeah, I'm kind of a mixed vibe. Like, I like Halloween stuff and fall stuff mixture. So, like, these really cool spider web placemats. I got those really cheap when they was on sale at Kohl's. But, um, really cute. This little bouquet I just put there for now. This table is so small that placemats don't really fit here. So I just took these and put them together and put them in the center for like a little centerpiece for now. I didn't really know what else to do with it. Um, there was a couple things I did not end up using because um, I just didn't no longer want to use them. Had no use for them so I put them back in my tote. But a couple little things on this shelf. Like I said it's not like way over the top. A little pumpkin spice. Everything nice sign. And then my decor that I put up in the cabinet over there I think looks cute. But there's like a little glass plate. And um, I think we have, like I said, these, this over here is just like fun and festive. Um, just giving you guys a little rundown of what I did. Pumpkin, a little solar guy that we had from last year. I put these little like pumpkin things into the flower for now, but I don't know. I might change that. I just stuffed them in there. They're kind of junky though, but... Um, this little scarecrow guy is in here hanging like he was last year and then I got like one little scarecrow in the window in the laundry room But like I said, it's not over the top I got a couple things and then I'll obviously put out all my Bath and Body Works soaps, which they all smell amazing I didn't try all of them <laughs> So I put out those to give the like little nice touch of fall on Halloween mixture I also have a bunch of Halloween towels so I hung one for now because Cole will rip them all down if I hang them all. But this one says just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. If no one's ever seen Hocus Pocus, I don't know what to say. 
shame on you because that is like my favorite classic that I have to watch every year since I was a kid. It was one of my favorite movies. So especially to watch during Halloween, that time of the year. So anyways, Cole's going around shutting all the doors. I put a little makeup on today, not much, but I did do a little bit. Um, because actually my friend messaged me yesterday she wanted me to take her to Oakland where my husband works today to get a rental car so I told her yes but she had to work this morning so I don't know what time she's getting off so we can go do that hopefully pretty early this afternoon we can go and do that but my goal this morning is to get the floor cleaned and mopped put dishes away get everything wrapped up by the time and then when the afternoon comes we'll be ready to go but I love my house right now. I just love the fall. I'm so excited about the fall stuff. It's so cozy and nice in here. I love it. Good morning. It is Saturday and it is pouring the rain down. So today is a rainy day. I just got done braiding my hair. Um, I think I like braiding my hair better when it's a little more wet because... I got a lot of loose pieces back here. I can't keep it tight enough. So I have clips in and it just looks kind of blah. But oh well. I don't care. I just wanted my hair out of my face. And I wore makeup the last two days. So I'm taking a break today and not wearing makeup. But so yeah. I don't know what the plan is today. I'm actually just kind of blah. Like I want. Um, I'm looking forward to having a day with my husband soon. It feels like it's been a little while. Because it has. It's been a couple of weeks since we went to South Carolina. And I got the itch to just have like a day to ourselves and just uh, maybe do something. I just, um, we would actually, um, so yeah, I'm just, I got that itch really bad where I just like, I need a break. <laughs> Good morning. Um, it's a new day. This is probably the last day that I'm going to vlog for this video. But um, we started mowing the grass Friday. And we didn't get it all done. And then yesterday it rained all day. So we didn't get to mow yesterday. We didn't get to finish the yard, which was like really strange because normally we finish up in after two days. But to Virginia yesterday and just had like a little day out. We went to the Texas Roadhouse, which I really love that restaurant. Um, I actually had never been before. My aunt was telling me that they really love it. And we went back, I think, in the winter for the first time. And I... Um, really loved it. I loved how like, you know, how some restaurants bring out like rolls, you know, as a starter. And then this, they did that here. Um, if you guys have never been to one, um, and they actually served them with cinnamon butter, I think is what it was, but it's so good. It's like really good. And the rolls are really good too, but all the food that I've ever had from there is really good. I got some salmon and rice yesterday. It was so good. And then I had like a little house salad and Cole got mac and cheese, of course, and fries. And my husband didn't really want anything. He just wanted a couple beers. So my husband just cup here. But um, I'm actually going to be getting my hair done, I think. I talked to my husband about it yesterday. I haven't had my hair done since back in December, you guys. I just wanna, is that when I cut my hair? I forget. I think it was because I think it was like before Christmas. or No, it was after Christmas. Maybe it was, yes, it was after Christmas I cut my hair and I put some highlights in it. But the highlights that the girl did for me when I got my hair cut, um, to me, didn't really, wasn't what I wanted. I wanted like more um, kind of noticeable, kind of just like heavy highlights. And she didn't really do that. Um, which is, which is like one thing I hate about what I do is like I normally just go to random hairdressers normally out in like the mall or I'll go to Walmart and go to the smart salon. Just, I don't go to the same person every time. And the reason is, is because, um, if I want to go anywhere where I live, I have to make appointments and I just kind of like when you can walk in and get your hair done randomly. Um, and I normally, I wish I would just find a hairdresser and when I dyed my hair blonde I don't know if you guys have been with me that long but like I dyed my hair full blonde probably about four years ago I don't remember how long it was five years ago but that hairdresser that I had I loved her and I really thought that she could have been my like person that I wanted to do my hair. I just loved her personality. I loved just everything that she did the whole entire time I was there. She took her, like she just was really awesome at what she did. And then come to find out, like when I tried to call back to get my hair, um, she was gonna do something for me the next weekend to brighten up the top because what had happened with me. 
is that my hair started turning yellow and um since I was newly going blonde I didn't really know how to take care of it she was supposed to lighten it up and take the brass out for me well I called the place and she ended up quitting the place because they were giving her a hard time and so she no longer worked there um it really sucked and then I never got to get my hair like fixed for free because she was going to do it for free for me um and I just never got to get it fixed. So what ended up happening is I used purple shampoo, but my hair just started getting really brassy and just, I didn't like it. <laughs> so I had to go back and get like brown, brown highlights to like blend out with my roots. So basically I was no longer blonde because it was really hard to keep up with that. Okay. I just got ready. Um, I did like this little sleep bun today and slicked my hair, which I don't ever do because I don't really like my whole entire face to be like just I don't know I don't normally go for this look but tried something different <laughs> and I put a little bit of makeup on which I was not expecting to do but once I did my hair I was like okay do the makeup it only took me like 10 minutes to do my makeup so it wasn't really that bad having my iced coffee now Cole is still asleep it is now eight o'clock so um, it's really cool outside, so I might go out and sit on the porch for just like a couple minutes and drink my coffee and wait for him to wake up. And once he gets up, we're probably going to go for a walk and then come back about 9, eat breakfast at 9. I still have been trying to wait till like 9 to eat breakfast, which I feel like works out really good. I have lost a little bit of weight, um, so... I just need to watch what I eat, honestly. I eat really bad, but I wanted to let you guys know that the Great Value Creamer is really good. So, I definitely recommend it. I mean, it's only like a dollar or something, and it's not bad, so. Okay. Otis is down there. Using the bathroom, it looks like, or sniffing. I just let him out, but yeah, the rain is done. So, we're just gonna sit out here, drink our coffee for a little bit. My phone is almost dead, so I'm letting that charge. But it's actually really cool out here. My husband said it was like 56 degrees in, o in uh, where he's working at. So, yeah, it feels like it's at least 60 here, like it's a little chilly, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I froze to death yesterday because of the rain, and I wanted to wear a sweatshirt. I wish I would have, but I did wear jeans yesterday for the first time, like since the whole summer. Good morning. It is Monday. <laughs> day day! We're going to go to the camp and we're gonna clean the camper i would film it for you guys but i don't have my batteries fully charged to do it on the other camera and this vlog is long enough so um plus i'm not really gonna do much i'm just gonna like quickly dust vacuum the camper because we're going to go down and stay for the first time this summer um probably the only time that we stay but super excited um, Friday night we're gonna have a little adult night me and my husband and um, Cole's sister is coming to spend the night with him at our house so we get to have a little break on Friday and I'm so excited um, and we're probably gonna take Otis with us too oh he sees a cat good morning today is Tuesday I was actually supposed to go get my wisdom teeth out today well I canceled <laughs> because I did not sleep very good last night like I didn't sleep hardly at all but like maybe a couple hours so um, I just made a cup of coffee um, and I'm drinking back to my old-fashioned hot coffee um, I was on an iced coffee kick for you guys know like a month and a half or whatever it was and now I'm back to hot coffee love it uh, missed it but anyways so I rescheduled my appointment for next week instead which is good because it gives me a whole nother week to finish healing on this side, which they're, the holes from the teeth are almost completely closed. But it's still healing, obviously. I'm 
to transform Cole's crib to a toddler bed. And um, I knew about five days ago, Cole started doing something new and he started putting his leg up over the rail and I was like, this isn't good. <laughs> He's going to climb out of it. So yesterday, while we was sitting on the couch, he, Cole took a nap and after his nap, um, we thought he, we heard him in there, but we were, wasn't sure at first. So it, only five minutes went by and we heard like a thump. Cole climbed out of his bed and landed, I think he landed on his butt because he thankfully did not get hurt or anything. So we just know like it's time, you know, it's time to transfer the bed. So we're going to Walmart to get a toddler guardrail for his bed. Um, the only thing with his, we can transfer, we can still keep his crib base or whatever. The only thing we have to do is take the front rail off and then put the guard up for him. So he can climb in and out of his bed easily and he won't be able to get hurt that way. Okay, so we're back from Walmart. Husband's putting the bed together as we speak right now. So. Okay, so, thank you. Go ahead. Come on, Cole, come out here. Do you like your bed like that? Huh? You. you do? Now come here, wait. Come on, come out here with mommy. You wanna go out on the porch? Let's get your shoes. Get your shoes on. I thought you were gonna wear these. I got my shoes, see? I have mine. No, daddy's working. Oh, he's trying to give Scott his shoes. Dad's not coming, Zoe. <laughs> Thank you, so. Thank you, so. Thank you, so. He's not coming right now. He's putting your thing together. Sing for me. Won't you sing for me? Till we fall asleep. 